So I was recently making a video for one of the other courses that I teach, and I was sharing a little bit about the advanced statistical techniques that I use to complete my PhD dissertation. And since there are many of you on this channel who are very interested in IO or human capital research, I thought I'd just give you a little bit of insight into what I did. And don't worry, you don't need to read the full 70 page dissertation. But if you're curious, here's what I used, how I applied it and what I found. So for my dissertation, I was curious to figure out whether or not an age old statement that I had heard around past performance is the best predictor of future performance was really accurate. And in fact, I was doing a lot of work at the time with the notion of capabilities or competencies. I like to use the word capability, but the academic literature likes to use competencies. I got a whole video on my feelings about those words, but anyway, my dissertation was to figure out whether or not capabilities or past performance were better, separate, different, or redundant measures for how we can predict future performance in employees. So first I had to assess whether or not past performance really did seem to predict future performance. And not really surprising, but I did find statistical evidence for that. I had data on over 2000 individuals and I had their past performance and future performance ratings and was able to find a very clear relationship between those two items. But I wanted to see whether or not competencies had a similar relationship. Now, competencies usually aren't measured as just one thing or even a handful of things. And in fact, in my case, I had over 30 competencies per person. It was a lot of data. So what I needed to do first was to actually perform a factor analysis to see whether or not those competencies tended to clump or group together into factors that then I could assess as their own individual variables. And what I did find is out of all those 32 competencies that I had, four were kind of oddballs, but the rest actually uh, loaded together as three factors. I had a factor for leadership and personal attributes. I had a factor for technical expertise and a factor for business expertise. And when taken together, those three factors explained about 62% of the variance. So they worked out pretty well. Um, I checked all the math around it and they didn't have other potential issues. So when I took those uh, and looked at whether or not each one of those factors was predictive of future performance, I found that yes, in fact, all three were. Uh, leadership and technical seem to have slightly bigger effect than that of the business, but they all were statistically significant and all had at least uh, some impact on future performance. So my hypothesis one and two, Past performance does predict future performance. Competencies do predict future performance. Then I wanted to see, okay, are they redundant? Do they have unique variants? Does one add to it? And because I was starting with the premise already from past research that past performance leads to future performance, I did a stepwise regression to see whether or not competencies would help to explain or add additional explained uh, variance in a model on top of and in addition to that of prior performance. And it did, it was great. So I was able to show that in fact, competencies, all three factors that I had did in fact add additional explanatory power to understanding future performance. So that was interesting and exciting because uh, at the time I was doing a lot with competencies and many organizations were going through a process of uh, getting rid of their old performance management processes. And so I wanted to understand where competencies might play a role in that dialogue. But once I knew that there was some unique information happening, I also wanted to look at whether or not there were more interesting relationships between performance in the past, competencies, and then its predictive ability in the future. So I did a path analysis, actually more like structural equation modeling, but I did an analysis to really see whether or not there were moderating or mediating relationships. And in fact, I found that there was a mediating relationship 
where we found that competencies were mediating the relationship between past performance and future performance. So we saw that there was an additional kind of relationship going on. Uh, out of the whole work, this was probably the most interesting part because there was not a lot of studies or research showing whether or not there was a mediating or moderating relationship. So my findings were at least a little unique in that respect in that they could add to the literature and the understanding of performance in the future. So there are plenty of limitations with my study as in many of others, but at the time it was very useful because I was working uh, with performance, with competencies in an applied setting where this information was very helpful to how we could think about our future uh, planning when it came to really building competencies and capabilities in our employees with the hopes of it having a positive outcome for organizational performance and for employees feeling that they had the opportunity to get the skills and the capabilities that they needed for their job. So if you're interested, you can read the whole long thing, but it's not worth it probably. Uh, maybe just read the abstract, watch this video, and I hope you enjoy getting a little bit of glimpse into what it was that I did with my PhD dissertation.